I want to do some sort of quantum leap cleanse. Been watching Quantum Leap lately. I love Quantum Leap. It's one of my favorite shows. If you haven't seen it. It's great. Oh, this is a sad part from Quantum Leap. Does this have... Yeah. For a while, that was the slang. Far out. For those of you who don't know the premise of Quantum Leap, um, this is, uh, Sam Beckett is the name of the character. He's, well, hold on, let me just, I can, I can... The show can explain it better than I do. Theorizing that one could time travel within his own lifetime, Dr. Sam Beckett stepped into the Quantum Leap Accelerator and vanished. He awoke to find himself trapped in the past, facing mirror images that were not his own, and driven by an unknown force to change history for the better. His only guide on this journey is Al, an observer from his own time, who appears in the form of a hologram that only Sam can see and hear. And so Dr. Beckett finds himself leaping from life to life, striving to put right what once went wrong, and hoping each time that his next leap will be the will leap, be the home. leap home. So basically, time travels around and jumps into other people's bodies and helps save people's personal history, basically. Um, where was the thing I was going to look at? <sighs> yeah, for a while that was the slang. Far out. And nobody says far out anymore. They say, uh, well... Awesome for a while, and then radical, and... Awesome? Migu has a video, hold on. Sliders was superior to Quantum Leap, how dare you? How fucking dare you? Untrue. There's a... Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a lot better than Far Out. Awesome. Oh, boy. <laughs> In this scene, um, he has basically told this girl that he is from the future. He's also warned her that, like, the brother is going to die. But, of course, she doesn't believe him because she doesn't think he's actually from the future. But in this scene, he does convince her and it freaks her out. What else can you tell me about the future? Well, you're going to meet a boy in a couple of years named Chuck. Yuck, I can never go with a guy named Chuck. You're going to elope with him. Awesome. <laughs> Katie, there's a little problem. Chuck has a, a drinking problem. Got it. Don't go out with Chuck. When I meet him. You're just humoring me, aren't you? Like that. Yeah, it's his little sister. He he. In this episode, he leaps into a younger version of himself and tries to fix his family's issues that happen. Dad and mom and Tom. None of you really believe me. Oh my God! <clears throat> if you really are from the future, you know if he's dead. Chuck. Paul McCartney, the White Album. If you play Revolution Number no. Nine backwards, the Beatles are singing "Paul is dead." And. Um, no, Paul's not dead. After the Beatles split up. The Beatles split up? Pretty soon, I think. Oh, God. Wait till I tell Elaine. Paul forms this group called Wings, and they come out with some great tunes. And John? What's John gonna do? He's my favorite. Uh, Katie. John. Don't. Tell her. John is going to write my favorite song. Your favorite song? Mm hmm. In the future? Yeah. Well, sing it to me. Or you can use that Swiss cheese brain <clears throat> excuse you gave me when I asked you who'd be my first boyfriend. In 
imagine there's no heaven It's easy if you try No hell below us Above us only sky Imagine all the people Living for today Imagine there's no countries It isn't hard to do Nothing to kill or die for And no religion too Imagine all the people Living life in peace You You might say I'm a dreamer But I'm not the only one I hope someday you'll join us Imagine no Katie, what is it? I've never heard that before. Of course not. Lennon is not going to write it for another couple of years. No! Sam. Katie, what is it? I don't want to believe you. Why? I don't want to believe you know the future. Because if you do, Tommy's going to die. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I don't want my brother to die in Vietnam. <laughs> Quantum Leap's a great show if you haven't seen it. Check it out. It's a really good show. The finale's not great. <laughs> but the rest of the show's good. So, check it out if you haven't seen it before. Hmm. In fairness, I, I love anything with the uh, time travel as a plot point. Like, I love Doctor Who, love Back to the Future, love Quantum Leap. I love everything time travel. Even not very good time travel I tend to like. I don't know why. It's just like my favorite sub-genre. Sci-fi is probably my favorite genre, and time travel fiction is like my favorite sub-genre of... Science fiction or science fantasy. What's the context for the uh, I'm retarded scene? Um, there's a... You've probably seen the gif of this before. Um, first of all, let me be clear. Uh, at the time that uh, this gif... You've probably seen this gif. Um, but at the time this was made, that was not considered derogatory. It was just considered how you referred to special needs people at the time. Um, so let me be clear about that. The show is not being derogatory in its usage. Um, like, just for the, the fact. But basically, um, Sam, because he leaps into the bodies of other people, um, he leaps into a special needs person. And uh, most of the episodes of the show start with him looking in the mirror uh, or many of them, at least at some point in the episode, he will look in the mirror and see who he is inhabiting. And he looks in the mirror, sees someone um, with special needs, and goes, I'm that. And that's the context for that, if you're curious where that gift comes from. It's actually a really great episode, too. To be fair, doctors still use the R word. Yeah, I know, but colloquially it's been muddied by people using it as a derogatory insult, so I don't like to use it. Um, yeah, it was it, it was a, a person named Jimmy with Down Syndrome. It's a really good episode of the show. Um, his goal in that episode is basically to get Jimmy accepted at his new job because it's like the 60s, the 70s. People with special needs are often put into institutions 
and it's his job to sort of get people to accept him so he doesn't get put in an institution. The show's great. Um, it's incredibly progressive, especially for the time. Like, the show, like, has, like, pro-gay messaging. Like, it, it has, like, an episode where Sam leaps into someone who has been sexually assaulted and, like, trying to convince people to believe her. Um, it, it has, you know, uh, 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 feminist messages. Like, it's a really great show. It's awesome. Um, it has episodes where Sam, like, for instance, leaps into a black man in the South in the 60s, and he sits down at a lunch counter, which goes as well as you would expect. Um, it's a really, really great show, so check it out. Oh, yeah, the scene where he looks in the mirror seems bad out of context, but it's, it's you just have to see the show. There are Christian undertones in the sense that they believe in some sort of deity leaping him around. But let me be clear. This is a show that also includes Bigfoot, aliens, ghosts, and vampires. So the fact that there is, like, a deity in this universe is fine with me. I'm fine with the idea of a deity, even though I'm an atheist, in, excuse me, a fictional context. It makes sense to me that, like, in a fictional universe, there could be, you know, a god or gods. In the same way that, like, in D&D, there are gods that we deal with all the time. And I'm fine with it. They're, like, part of that storytelling universe, so it doesn't bother me. And they're never clear on, like, who this god is. They never say it's like, this is the Christian god. It's just, like, general, you know, deity. So it's fine. It's fine. Allison Pregler from Movie Nights has some pretty good stuff on this, too. In terms of, like, the weirdest Quantum Leap novels, and she helped find the lost final scene to the show. Pretty cool stuff. Uh... <laughs> Who appears how am I doing in this uniform? I can see and hear. And so Dr. Bess went wrong. Leave home. Here's one of the best intros to the show. In season four, they started doing some interesting things because the ratings were down. If you've seen Quantum Leap, you'll you'll probably remember this scene. Uh Baja, maybe don't watch this section as this has spoilers for later in season four. Sam? Sam, you okay? Hell? You okay? Huh? You must sleep with me. Oh, we did it, Sam. We... Sam, Whoa. what the hell am I doing in this uniform? What's going on, Sam? I think... Come here. <laughs> Sam, what the hell's happening, huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> Basically, they switch places in that episode, and Al becomes the Leaper, and Sam becomes the Hologram. So. Okay, that's enough Quantum Leap stuff. Sorry, I'm I'm getting nerdy about Quantum Leap just because I really, really like the show. So. Uh. <laughs> just seriously, though, watch Quantum Leap. I want more people to get into it, because I want them to reboot it. Because the show never got really a great finale... So, it'd be awesome if they restarted Quantum Leap, but still kept everything that happened in Quantum Leap canon. But then maybe have, like, Sam's daughter, maybe her name can even be Samantha, I don't know. And she can decide to take up the project, a similar time travel project. She becomes a Leaper, specifically because she wants to go find her dad. I don't know if Al would be in it, and he'd cameo at least. But maybe have a new team with Samantha, the daughter, and, um some new friend of hers who's basically the Al, I think that would be a lot of fun. Because it's a, it's a versatile, like, 
they had one play the one where Sam leaps into a monkey. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That was not very good. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a versatile premise because in any episode, it, it can go from like a western to a to a noir mystery to a, a you know a a cop drama. To a personal interest story, to a story about racism, to a story, you know, it's just every episode is so different because of the premise of him just leaping into someone else's problem and having to solve it. So, check out Quantum Leap. Looks like there's some full episodes on YouTube, probably up illegally. <laughs> Not gonna watch them, obviously, but just if you would like to go look at YouTube, that's your